Hello there. Come here, my little friend. Don't be afraid. Oh, don't worry, he'll be all right. Rest easy, son. You've had a busy day. You're fortunate to be all in one piece. Ben? Ben Kenobi? Once upon a time, this grassland had it all. Thriving human communities and abundant wildlife. But no longer. The Great Steppe stretches from Europe to China and once supported the vast horse-riding armies of Genghis Khan, as well as huge herds of wildlife. In fact, one species lived here in greater numbers than even the wildebeest in Africa. Incredibly, few people today have even heard of them. The saiga antelope is a relic of the Ice Age that once wandered alongside woolly mammoths. Their extraordinary nose heats air in the winter and filters out dust in the summer. Perfect adaptations for the dry steppe. As they migrate, they eat over a hundred plant species. Unfortunately, their horns are so valuable as Chinese medicine that after the breakup of the Soviet Union, unpoliced poaching reduced the saiga herds in this region from two million to only 20,000. Scientist Aline Kuehl hopes her research into saiga reproduction can help us protect one of the fastest declining species on Earth. There's no one large mammal that's declined as fast as the saiga has in recent times, so they've declined by over 95% in 10 years. That's a hell of a lot. According to Alan Savory's theory, if you reduce the number of saiga, there won't be enough animals left to graze and trample the grassland. Without the saiga, certain grasses are dying. Shockingly, over the past few decades, 80% of Kalmykia is turning into desert. Some say it's the first man-made desert in Europe. While uncontrolled sheep grazing habits cause the bulk of that desertification, Savory's theory suggests that native saiga would help restore the balance to these plains. With the saiga headed for extinction, every breeding season is now critical. Rarely filmed before, this is the saiga rutting season. Females are sexually mature in just eight months. Males mature only when they grow their horns. This adolescent male barely has his and she is not impressed. She is focused on the outcome of a much more serious duel. She belongs to this male, but only so long as he can defend his right to mate against a lineup of challengers. Before battle, he marks his scent everywhere.
Males get so exhausted in the rut that as many as 90% of them will die in the winter that follows. The triumphant old boy rounds up his love interests. It's not just one. He's got a harem of up to 50 to look after. The rut is the first step in a process that could hold the key to the Saiga's recovery. <laughs> 